What's going on fellow reef builders? I'm Jake Adams and today I'm bringing to you a very special aquarium which is two things in one. First, it is a focus on a group of animals, Christmas tree worms that I've always been fascinated with and always wanted to uh, be able to focus on. And it is the first concept aquarium here at the Reef Builder Studio. The concept aquarium is Christmas tree worms and filter feeders just in time for the holidays. This is essentially my Christmas tree here at the studio. The lights don't go on the tree, they go above the tree. So let me tell you about this aquarium that I have put together. So Christmas tree worms are a type of segmented worm that lives inside of corals. All you see are these very colorful spiral shaped gills that the worms use for breathing, but mostly for feeding. And they come out of a few different types of very shallow water corals, including Parides, Cyphastria, and in the Caribbean, there's other corals that they will grow in from. So Christmas tree worms, uh, generally called Bismarck rock or Christmas tree worm rocks, are actually a colony of a coral species with all these worms sticking out. And uh, when you see them for sale, they might just look uh, like a brown rock because normally those Christmas tree worms are not treated like a coral, they're treated like invertebrates and they're not given the lighting that they need. But as you can see, if you put them in a great environment with lots of flow, lots of light and direct feeding, they'll do really, really well for you. So to put together this first concept aquarium for my Christmas tree worms, I use the shallow uh, 30 gallon EXT tank from Innovative Marine that has uh, ultra clear glass so I can get a really, really good look at them. I'm using uh, uh, the Aquamax Nemo Light Prism LED. So this is a second generation of their Prism light. It's not the brightest light, it's not the most controllable, it's not fancy, but it is more than enough power, um, especially placed this close to the tank for some shallow water corals, and it brings out a lot of color. I'm really, really loving it. For water flow, I'm using a uh, Aquamedic EcoDrift 8.1. This is a basic, fun, controllable uh, propeller water pump. You can see it there right behind me. And what's cool is that it's actually set up on wave mode. So it's pulsing ever so slightly, but you can't see it in the, in the aquarium because I have a return pump, uh, a small waveline controllable pump, and it's kind of fighting the flow. So there's a lot of water flow inside the tank. But when I press the feed button on the pump that's actually delivering water to this tank, that interference is no longer happens and we get a nice wave uh, here in the aquarium, very similar to what these animals would experience in the wild in shallow water. One of the coolest things about setting up this tank from a technical standpoint is um, the bean animal overflow is a uh, setup whereby you have two different drains on your overflow box. And generally what you would do is you would restrict the water flow coming out of a lower drain um, just to the point where it was overflowing into the second drain. So what this does is it allows uh, just water to go down the primary drain and not suck in any air and just a trickle of water in the secondary drain. And the way you would normally do that was with a ball valve on the drain itself. So what I did is I did something a little bit different. I put a constrictor, basically a, a bushing to reduce the diameter from one inch to half inch. Um, and then I dialed in the water flow going into the tank. So instead of having a ball valve down underneath the tank, I'm able to just dial in the flow going to the aquarium and it's worked perfectly. And I'm gonna be able to replicate that when I set up the innovative marine row here at the Reef Builder Studio.
So that's the gear I'm using on the Christmas tree Worm Rock Aquarium, but how is it doing? I have to admit it is doing really, really well in just a several days of having these corals um, that I can see face to face. Uh, the corals are brightening up. The worms themselves are also becoming more uh, larger and robust. And I'm really, really able to get a good look at all the different colors of these Christmas tree worms. So in aquariums, sometimes the worms don't uh, live that long, but that's because they're not being fed enough. In this particular uh, arrangement, I'm able to absolutely blast these corals with food so much that it's almost cloudy in the water and uh, the tank is isolated for 10 to 30 minutes. And that allows the concentration of food to be really high uh, for the Christmas tree worms. But when the feeding is over, basically the feed pump comes back on. And since this is in uh, loop with the coral flat, all that food goes to 200 gallons of corals and water and gets diluted to feed everything else. Then it doesn't create a you know terrible situation for nutrients in this aquarium. So you might be wondering, what am I feeding this aquarium? And uh, since no one really has any specific experience with Christmas tree worms, I have put, put together a jambalaya of different uh, uh, popular aquarium coral foods. So I'm using the Brightwell Reef Blizzard in three different sizes. We've got the O for octocorals, it's got a lot of phytoplankton, the S for SPS corals, which uh, has a lot of small particles, and the L for LPS corals, which has a medium to larger particles. And that's all being uh, supplemented as well with reef roids, which we know is a really, really great foundation for coral feeding. These colonies of corals are not just Christmas tree worms. The green varieties here is uh, strictly uh, Christmas tree worms, but all the others have coral hermits. So there's these little hermit crabs inside um, that live right amongst the Christmas tree worms, you know, spiral and colorful gills. And uh, they are colorful as well and they're really active and you can see their antennas just kind of flick and just back and forth catching things in the current and um, also barnacles and there's some colorful barnacles although i don't have those yet um, and just all kinds of little critters that live inside the rock that are filter feeders that uh, are really starting to appear as i'm feeding these corals a lot more the thing about the, the Christmas tree worms is they can grow to 30 or 40 years old, three to four decades old. They grow really slow, just right alongside a massive coral. They, their tube grows by a, uh, about one millimeter in diameter every year in the wild, but hopefully in an aquarium, I can get them to grow just a little bit faster with ideal conditions. And the Cyphastria rock actually has about as many Christmas tree worms as the Parides rocks up above, um, but they're a lot smaller. So there's little tiny baby Christmas tree worms, and I'm really hoping to grow those out. This, this has been such a fun project, you guys. It's been so much fun to finally be able to see a coral, a reef animal, you know, head, head on because everything is top down in the coral flat behind this aquarium so far. And it's just really cool to see them. There's gotta be about a hundred Christmas tree worms in these four pieces of rocks that I have here. And they're just so beautiful. Every single color you can think of, red, blue, pink, salmon, black, white, speckled with colored tips, with colored, tubes down the middle, bicolored, one color on top, one color on bottom. It's been really, really, really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the first concept aquarium here at the Reef Builder Studio. As you can tell from the big smile on my face, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, the, the corals are doing well, the aquarium came together, it's super quiet. It's such an interesting concept and I plan to load it up with more filter feeders later. I definitely wanna thank uh, Monsoon Aquatics, which I'm pretty Pretty sure collected all of these rocks in Darwin, Australia. And uh, the, I got these rocks actually from Unique Corals, from Aquamedic, from uh, Aquatic Art, and from Neptune's Tropical Fish. So thank you to all those uh, companies for um, 
getting these rocks and taking care of them so I could get them from you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about filter feeders, uh, if you have any comments on the aquarium, go ahead and put them, put them down below. You guys know I am all over that commenting game just like you are. And um, I hope if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you love this video, uh, consider subscribing. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos here before the year's up. So I hope to see you guys again very soon.